everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to be making the pioneer woman's chicken spaghetti or I'm going to be doing kind of my own way but um, I'm going to be using well she says two cups of cooked chicken so I got this fresh roasted chicken row tisserie chicken from my grocery store then she says three cups of dried spaghetti broken in two inch pieces so I will be getting this spaghetti and I'm Hannah in background sorry my daughter and breaking this into two inch pieces then you need two cans of cream of mushroom soup I accidentally just had I bought cream of chicken and mushroom Hopefully that won't be too big of a problem. I don't think it will be. <laughs> and then you're supposed to have two cups of grated sharp cheddar cheese. Um, I have mild cheddar cheese. Again, hopefully that won't be too big of a problem. I don't think it will be. And then you're supposed to finally dice up a green pepper for a fourth of a cup. So I'll be dicing that up. I'll be dicing up a fourth of a cup of a diced onion. And then you need a one jar or four ounce of a diced up pimentos and it'll be drained. Oops, sorry. And then it says you need two cups of reserved chicken broth from pot. I'm not going to be cooking my chicken from a pot. So, um, since my chicken's already cooked, I just bought some chicken broth. And then I got, you're gonna need a teaspoon of this Lowry seasoned salt. You need an eighth of a teaspoon to a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then salt and pepper to taste. And then one cup of additional grated sharp cheddar cheese or in my case mild cheddar cheese to um, additional of that okay this is when pioneer woman would be cooking her fryer she called it her chicken but since I'm not going to be doing that I'm just going to go ahead and start boil, trying to get my broth to boil so I'm gonna get two cups of my chicken broth. Then I'll put it in here. And I'll get that to start boiling. And then I'm supposed to get three cups of dry spaghetti broken into two inch pieces. So I guess that's my next step. I have a feeling this is going to make a big mess. Start off small. About two inches. If you don't know what I'm doing, this is about an inch. From knuckle to Whatever that's called. <laughs> Where your fingernail starts. That's close to it. I have a feeling this whole bag is going to take me three cups all right I didn't use quite the whole bag I use a lot of it I may actually have to since I've been boiling for a few minutes have to add some yeah I'm gonna have to add some my broth to it I think some of it disintegrated is that the right word I'm looking for? Probably not. Oh, let's just cover up those noodles. 
I'll just use what I got. Like I said, I'm not going exactly like the what she said. Once that starts boiling again, I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes. Go ahead and add some salt to it. And while that's cooking, I'm going to be cutting up the onion and the bell pepper. And while I was cutting up all the veggies, the Noodles were done, so I went ahead and drained them in the sink. I'm going to go ahead and start preheating my oven to 350. And then I'm going to grab my chicken and I'm going to start cutting up or pulling apart two cups of it. long way if I'm gonna get two cups out of that. Make sure you don't get any bones. Okay, the next part you're supposed to put all the ingredients together except the one last cup of cheese <laughs> but you're supposed to put them in like a bowl and do all that but I don't want to mess up a bowl and then just end up putting it in this casserole dish so I'm just gonna put it all in there right now and then mix it in there together should put the noodles in first and instead of last. But you live and learn, right? Alright, now I'm going to cover it with the rest of the one cup of cheese. Okay, 
Now I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. And if the cheese starts to get too brown, then you can cover it with foil. If you want, you can freeze this up to six months or you can have it in the refrigerator for up to two days. All right, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Kid approved. Hold on. <laughs> Blow. <laughs> Hot. Oh, what? Bomb. I bomb it more. I got a really, I got a really big one here. I got a really big one. <gasps> <laughs> Can I get mine? <gasps> mm. Good. Good. All right. So what do you do? Give a thumbs up. A really, 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 really big thumbs up. Do you, do you give the spaghetti up. a thumbs up? Give a thumbs up, spaghetti. Subscribe, subscribe. That's not what I meant, but okay. And hit that bell. And hit that bell. Hit the bell, spaghetti. So I never miss any of the boys. So I never miss any of the boys, spaghetti. But if you do miss any of the boys, but if you do miss any of the boys, go, go find them. Go find them, spaghetti. <laughs>